Hi, I'm Frank. Hi, I'm Virginia. And we've been... Together, we've been married 56 years. Uh, you gotta do it together, Virginia. Hi, I'm Frank. Hi, I'm Virginia. And, and we've together. been married... Not together. And together. <laughs> Hi, I'm Frank. Hi, I'm Virginia. And we've, we've been, been married, married for 56, 56 years. years. My sister, Margaret, and um, Frank's sister, Aunt Rose, knew each other from high school. And um, Rose wanted to go out with a guy and her parents wouldn't let her go out unless he, she had a chaperone. I belonged to a very strict Italian family and uh, my sister was 15 years old and she needed to have a chaperone to go out on a date. Usually grandma did that, but grandma wasn't feeling well. So my sister begged me to be her chaperone so she could go on this date. My sister asked me if I would go along with them on a date with Frank, who was Rose's chaperone. So we went to the movies and um, he sat there beside me. I thought, I thought he was a date for me and it turns out he wasn't a date. He was just a chaperone and he never said a word to me through the whole movie, nothing. Well, this young lady sat next to me. I had no idea why, but I was just watching my sister and her boyfriend to make sure another hanky-panky went on, which that was my job. So after the movie, on the way back to uh, my sister's girlfriend's house, my sister asked, can the guys go in the pool tomorrow? I said, sure, I'll pick them up. Frank pulled up in front of my house with a Cadillac. And um, he, ha he had a girlfriend with him. So he <laughs> his girlfriend, Frank, my sister, her boyfriend, and I all went over to his parents' house. Well, my girlfriend's looking at me like, who the hell is this one, you know? So we got to the pool and everybody was going in the pool and all my girlfriend would do is dart her and dart me, what's going on? Anyway, to make a long story short, the day ended and I dropped everybody off and then my girlfriend and I had a big argument about the whole thing and I tried to explain to her, I had no idea who this young lady was, but you know, she tagged along. In the meantime, um, I seen her once or twice when I took my sister over to her house to see Margaret. And I said, well, she's a pretty good looking girl. So maybe I'll ask her out on a date. So I did. And my girlfriend found out about that. So it happens they went to the same school together. Um, and I heard words were going back and forth. So I told my girlfriend to take a hike and started dating Virginia. When we were first married, I wanted to have, for some reason, I wanted to have a child right away, and I don't know why, I was very, very young, but I guess I had the maternal instinct. Um, we, I found myself pregnant at 19, and I had my first child at 20, <clears throat> but um, we were struggling financially. Uh, I wasn't working at the time, and my husband and Frank was working two jobs just to put food on the table and pay the bills. Eventually we had three children and the travel bug was still with us and we used to do little road trips with the kids living on peanut butter and jelly and bologna sandwiches. My husband and I decided to go on a cruise and we loved it so much that from there we decided we wanted to keep traveling for the rest of our life. The real bug really started travels when I retired and we took a whirlwind tour of Europe, like 17 countries in 18 days. And the bug really got us. I was retired and Virginia was still working, but she decided to quit and we really started to travel. We've managed to go to all, all the continents and I guess my favorite trip was China and it still is. The reason why is because of the culture. 
The, the Great Wall of China is just amazing and the terracotta soldiers and just the whole atmosphere of China, the way the people live, the way they love, the friendliness they are, and this just tremendous ancient culture is just fantastic. One of my favorite trips of all the places we've been, which we've enjoyed tremendously, and it's really hard to pick one out, um, I've liked Africa the best. Um, it's the most enjoyable because it's so different than anything we've ever seen. We saw nature in the wild, and we went out every day in a um, safari truck we saw lions, we saw giraffes, we saw everything that you can think of. And uh, I think it was the most enjoyable trip I've ever been on and I would go again in a heartbeat. Okay, how did we make this marriage last 56 plus years? Quite simple. She's an egg and I'm a grump. We have our differences all the time, but the best part of it is making up again. So. Every marriage has its ups and downs, just like the ocean, the waves come and the waves go. The tide comes in, the tide goes out. But here we are together again and always will be. It's very simple. You compromise, you agree, you disagree, you compromise again. I'm not perfect, she's not perfect, but together we are. I guess the secret to a happy marriage is to learn that you don't have to be on a high every day to enjoy your marriage but eventually you learn that to compromise and to have patience with somebody and understand them is the gift that you that I have